you know, there's a, there's a lot of myths about writing and a lot of um, misconceptions. And, you know, I think discussing the process could only help young writers uh, and aspiring writers understand the industry. I mean, the, the thing about writing in any of the dramatic forms for the theatre, film, radio, TV, is that it's a collaborative art form. And so as a production designer, trying to work in a modern city and, you know, recreate 1916 has its challenges. So there's a lot of building involved and there's a lot of going on location and how you make it, you know, trying to make it work. And as I say, the budgets, today's budgets are always a constraint on how you do them. Ten weeks is a really tight schedule for any five-hour drama, but for a period drama, that's, that's a real challenge. So to try and deliver that, that volume of drama within that schedule and move around between all those locations, that, that for me, that was the hardest part. my 10th or 12th time seeing it. First time on a big screen though, and great state in 35 mil, like, can't go wrong. Great print. What I loved about it is the sound. It's like the wind and stuff, you know? I love, like, wind and stuff. It makes, gives it this kind of big, kind of haunting kind of feel, you know? It was, it's just a complete privilege to see a film like this on the big screen. It just is not the same film on DVD or, you know, video or anything. But they're all big characters and you need a big screen and a big countryside and the whole huge panorama for the film to work. Um, film festivals are massively important um, to get out to audiences but also doing this, coming to do a QA and a is really important, you know, just to, to stand there and, and look people in the eye, you know. And whatever I say in the, when we do the questions is kind of irrelevant, but to be there with the audience is super important, I think.